The next question in the row is a multi-line text question. Here you expect your students to answer your question with a longer piece of text. Let's click on it and let's configure the question. My question is name four animals you saw in the clip, mind your spelling. Here, when you add nothing else and just this question type, the question will not be automatically graded because every student will answer something else and will maybe name other different kinds of animals. What you can do is add keywords. In this case, a computer will grade the keywords if, they, if, the, if the computer detects it in the answer of your students. Let's do this. Just add the keywords below each other and then add two hashtags and a score. In this case, if a student answers fox, hedgehog, or any other animal that keyword, animal or keyword in her text, they will get one point for each keyword that, that is correct in the student's answer. Of course, you can change the scoring weight of, uh, for each keyword to two or three or four and so on. Try to think about how your student is thinking. So in this case, chicken is graded correctly, but if a student answers with chick, is it correct or not? In this case, it will be graded incorrect. You can do this, you can still grade it correctly by adding two hashtags and adding chick in between um, the hashtag from the score and the chicken, the first word. So in this case, both words will be graded correctly by the computer. Here it choose if it's case insensitive or not. In this case, um, case insensitive is the best way to go. Then I scroll completely down and I'm going to the scoring options right here. I'm going to add the scoring weight. So in this case, this question is on four points. Um, and this means that if my students are adding the keywords, they just will get a maximum of four points. When I go down, of course I have the scoring weight, but I also have some other options like in any other book widgets question type. You can add a rationale, a hint, audio, image, and you can change the numbering. Of course the rationale here is very important, especially when you're using a question type that is not automatically graded, because there is a way to give immediate feedback to your students, and this is where you give that feedback. Just add the rationale, Add what you expect from your students to answer. So if your students give an answer and then they want to see the correction, they can read your answer. So they can compare their answer with your answer. It's also really handy when you're grading your student work afterwards. You will see the rationale below every single question you added the rationale and it will help you to grade if you still have to grade manually too. You can add an alt text, you can also add an image. This can be a screenshot uh, with instructions. This can be a screenshot of maybe a textbook with more information and so on. Then I go back. I changed some settings to be um, easier to see in the preview so I can see how it's automatically created. Of course, you can change them back when you share them with your students. So here, my students have to answer the question. They get a large uh, field and they can name the animals. Let's start with fox. Um, students can use comments, they can use other words. In the computer book widgets will only detect the keywords to give um, grades. You can add more if you want, but the maximum score will be four points. But let's just keep it like this. Um, and then click on show answers as a teacher to see how this looks like. I added the scoring weight right here so you can see in the preview how many, um, how many your student will score. Of course, you can change this back if you send it over to students and you don't want them to know on how many points all the questions are. Show answers, yes. And now I can see I have a two out of four for this one. This is because fox and pig is of course right because I added them to all the keywords and horse and cow are not between those keywords. You can also see the rationale. This is the explanation I added later on. So students can check their answer with the answer in the rationale you added yourself. 